YouTube, my name is Sarah, if you didn't know, and today's situation is a recent thrift haul. I have been going to a lot of thrift stores, vintage curated stores, and markets to find clothing recently, and I picked up quite a few that I am more than ready to share with you. I find that there has been a lot of vintage stores or curated stores popping up in the city that I live in. It's fun to see what they're picking, but I will say sometimes the prices of these are not thrift store prices, so... Anyway, I won't really be commenting on prices throughout these items because I don't fully remember, but with that, let us get into the haul. If you enjoy videos like this, definitely let me know down below. Check out some of my other videos as I like to focus on clothing, fashion, lifestyle, vlogs, and just stuff that's happening in my life. So hopefully that interests you and you enjoy. If so, make sure to subscribe so you don't miss anything going forward. Let us get into the haul. I am going to start off with tops and that means vest are first. So I have definitely entered my vest era recently. I am loving the look of them. I'm loving how versatile they are and how they're adding like different dimensions of layering and texture and all these different things. So in the past like two months ish, I picked up three different vests. The first being this super lightweight black, white and blue floral vest. It's actually reversible. So on the inside or on one side I should say you have smaller flowers and then on the outside you have bigger less uniform flowers. There are little three buttons that go down the front and then on the inside there's only two because one is missing so that is of course something that can happen when you're buying secondhand clothing. This is not a working pocket it's a little bit of a fake moment here and then there is no tag on it for me to know what brand this is from but I love this vest like this would probably be my favorite one because fit wise I think it looks really nice it's really good for layering because of how lightweight drapey has a lot of movement and it's just really cute so I'm really happy about this this is the first vest that got me excited about vest and I think I want to find a couple more that are like this flowy movie material. Really enjoy that. The next vest I got is very, very colorful. This one is textured with some very fall inspired flowers. And I almost, I, I don't know what this is called. For some reason, crochet or cross stitching is coming to mind, but I don't really know what this is called. But the texture is really nice, adds so much contrast to an outfit. And then you can really pair it with a ton of different items given how colorful this is. And I'm absolutely just loving this color scheme for fall. We have another fake pocket moment. And then the back of this is just black and it does have this like adjuster. I'm not a huge fan of this. I might actually end up cutting this off, but I'm going to give myself a little bit of time of wearing this. And as you can tell, there's definitely more structure in the front side of this than the back side. And so, like I said, that's why I like this one, because all of it's just really loose. And the front of this one has a little bit more structure, but different items for different occasions, obviously. And this is made by the brand Dahlia. And I got it in a size large. So even the tag is really cute. I love the floral details. Last vest that I picked up is another very textured and colorful one. This one I would say is still kind of fall, but it almost skews a little bit wintry colored with those blues and like jewelish tones. But again, there's that beautiful texture within this vest and so much matching ability can happen with all these different colors. They almost kind of look like little like amoebas or bacteria. I don't know if that's a great way to describe your shirt, but that's what it reminds me of. And then similar to the last one, this back is just plain black. The front, of course, is colorful. This vest has the most structure in it. Like the back is not as flowy as the second one I showed you. And overall, it's not as flowy as the first one. So again, different structures, different fits, different looks, but all three I really love. And then again, this brand does not have a tag. It just says 21, but that looks kind of handwritten. So I don't know what that means. I am loving vests. These are definitely a staple in my closet for fall, and I'm really looking forward to getting even more wear out of these than I already have. Moving on to short sleeves, I got two button up short sleeve like blouses. So first I have this white one. It has buttons all up down the front and then a collar and a little bit of detail in the chest part of the shirt as well as on the back. This brand is called 
Alyssa Carr and it is 100% polyester. So super lightweight, super breezy and I love a good button up. I am currently working at like an office type job and I feel like button ups like this are great because they are lightweight and temperate so you can layer in the office and stay like your proper temperature but they're also very just professional looking and they can be dressed in a lot of different ways. I do really like the buttons on this. Again, it feels very professional and they look very clean. They just blend right into the shirt. It's also a bonus that this is a white top and there is no stains um, from food or armpit stains, all of which are completely normal and natural. But of course, when you're thrifting and buying secondhand, sometimes finding white items that are clean and still feel usable are challenging. So I'm happy to find something that I think fits really well. I really like how it looks when I style it and overall. I'm excited about this one. Staying in line with the blouses that I picked up, I got one in yellow that is a button up and this one is very similar to the previous one in fit, but I would say this is far more dressed up and eloquent, has some really nice details as you can probably tell, but I'll start off with showcasing this beautiful collar. So it's like almost laser cut or embroidered, kind of looks like a doily, but it is this just gorgeous floral cutout. And then down the front where the buttons are, you have just some gorgeous scalloping. And again, it's kind of embroidered with like shinier thread on the inside. And the buttons are iridescent and just remind me of like really pretty jewelry, almost like pearls. I really like the color. It's funny, I'm wearing yellow. You can't really tell it's a bit washed out. And I have yellow, but for a long time, I avoided buying this color because it really reminded me of Minions. And I didn't know how to style these tops without like jeans. First of all, I have to get over that, you know, yellow and blue are common colors. I'm not a minion if I wear them, but just how beautiful this blouse was, I could not pass it up. It is from the brand Tradition and looks like it was previously sold at Sears. If you know what that is, that was a department store when I was growing up in Canada and I got in a size 12, also 100% polyester. So. Again, absolutely love this for different temperatures, more professional. This can be easily dressed down if you just did one top button, but there's a lot of versatility in this. Looking forward to styling that. I will now move into standalone bottoms. I purchased one pair of jeans in this haul. I have a lot of jeans right now, and I find that jeans that I see at the thrift store just are very stiff and I like my jeans very soft. And I know that there's probably solutions to that, but I haven't quite figured it out yet. So leave some tips down below. But while these jeans were very stiff and they still could use some softening, I felt like I couldn't pass them up because they're so different than something I have. So to start off, they have really incredible detailing on the pocket of like this blue floral print. It doesn't go all the way into the pocket, but it just elevates and changes the look of like a classic white jean. And then it also goes down to the bottom of the hem of the pants. These are a high-waisted fit and they do have a zipper fly, which is the only way I really like to wear jeans. I hate button flies on my jeans. And then of course it has working belt loops. The material or design with the floral goes into the inside of the pant. And these are Gap Ferris. I'm not sure if that's like the old Gap that we know today or if this is a totally different brand, but that's what the logo looks like. And I do think it's really cute just on the backside of the pants there. This tag says 100% cotton. These are size 16 and they were made in the USA. What do you know? So although it's after Labor Day and these are a little bit stiff, I just felt like I couldn't pass these up because I don't have anything like these. A little bit about the fit of these is I find them to be like a 90s mom jean. They're quite loose in the legs and thigh, which is how I like my pants to be. And then they taper to a skinnier or thinner fit within your calves to ankles. I generally only like wide leg pants, but again, seeing these, I don't have a style like this. I don't have much like this. I figured I would try them out and let's see how much wear I can get out of them before fall kind of takes over too much, but yeah. The second pair of standalone bottoms I got might be my favorite piece in this haul. I love everything, but if I did have to categorize, I would say that this is probably my favorite piece, which is this maxi corduroy green skirt. It is an absolutely beautiful green corduroy textured. It has everything that I'm looking for in like a standout piece because to me, whenever I wear this, I find that this is kind of the focal point. It's hard not to stare at this, but basically it's just a straight cut maxi skirt that has a little cutout in the back. 
It does have buttoned front. I know I just said I don't like button flies. I think it's a bit different on a skirt, but the buttons go all the way down to the bottom. So you can choose if you want to show a little bit more leg by opening up the buttons, keeping it more modest, or really, again, there's just so many different ways to wear this. They also have working pockets, which is a must and a need, as well as on the backside of the skirt. Then the brand of this is called No Limits. So this is not a brand I've heard of, but one that I am definitely interested in shopping more, or finding more, and they categorize this a size 15, 100% cotton. The only downside to this is when I did wash it, it bled color a lot. So that is definitely a learning opportunity for me. It's not something that I didn't know, but sometimes when I'm thrifting and washing the items, I just forget to do this, but make sure anything that looks dyed or heavily dyed or even runs the risk of being dyed, you give it at least a rinse just to see what happens. So you're not putting that in with other clothes and potentially dyeing all your clothes green. That did almost happen to me. But yes, I just love this skirt. It's such a staple, especially going into fall. And I love the thickness of the belt loops. I don't, it's just different. I feel like I don't see that very often. So this is an awesome piece. And what made it even better was that it was like $20. When I saw this in the thrift store I was at, I thought it was gonna be way more expensive, but it wasn't. So that's a great find. Moving on to dresses, I picked up two dresses during my shopping recently. I can't seem to find the top of this. Ah. The first one is a pretty summery baby doll dress, and this is quite out of my comfort zone. I know that sounds weird, but I don't normally wear things as short as this dress is, especially because I have a bigger bum. I'm afraid that it's not giving me enough coverage. But when I found this, it was, first of all, only $10. And I thought the print, the color was just so cute. It has this little eyelet opening in the back to put on. And I just don't have anything like this. And I did kind of want a dress that I could just throw on, go about my business, feel really cute. And the cut of a baby doll dress is one of my favorites. So the paneling and the layering, I really, really love. There isn't like a ton to say about this because it's pretty straightforward, but it's by the brand Seraphine. Never heard of this either. I really haven't heard of like any of these brands. I don't have a lot of dresses that are short sleeve. Most of my dresses are all long sleeve or like thin spaghetti straps. So this is also just a good change and yeah, I like it. The next dress I got is a tank top dress and it's actually reversible. On the outside currently, you can tell that it's a blue background, navy background with florals. And then on the inside or the opposite side, it is maroon red, again, still with similar florals. This seems like an item that was handmade and not poorly. Like this is very well made, but it seems handmade because there is, first of all, no tag anywhere, no indication of anything. And also it feels like it was designed to fit somebody very specific because although the measurements seem as though they should fit me, this dress did not fit me. And I'm so sad about that, but I chose to include this because I know that thrifting can be challenging for different body types. I experience that all the time, but sometimes you will buy something that you love and it just doesn't fit. So I'm hanging on to this in the event that I don't know, something changes within me or I can find a way to alter it or turn it into a skirt because I love the pattern so much. I just don't fit into it as a dress right now and that's totally okay. The final two things I'm going to be showing you are matching sets. So I guess technically it's four things, but it's two matching sets. So to start off, I got a tank top and skirt set. This is pretty outside my comfort zone, but I definitely wanted to try it. I actually found this at an estate sale. So like within somebody's closet. But basically it's this goldish, goldish background, gold taupe, and it has some black florals on it. This is a square neck tank top with thick straps. I really like this cut because it covers my chest. It gives really great coverage. My bra or the side of my boob isn't showing, reduces spilling, but it is kind of like this stretchy or slimming fit material. And then I got the matching skirt of course looks the exact same. The skirt is super long and then there's a slit in the back. The way that I see myself wearing this is more like a dress because when you tuck in the tank top, you really can't tell that it's not a dress. I haven't yet decided if I'll style them differently. I mean, over time, I'm sure I will, but that's just how I envision it. I thought the set was really, really cute. And then this is from the brand Superstition New York. Never heard of it. I keep saying that. I really haven't heard of any of these brands, but 
yeah, I look forward to styling this. It's definitely outside of my comfort zone in the sense of fit. Like I mentioned before, it's a tighter fit and it's also a material I don't really own. So the way that it's going again to fit, I guess, is going to be different. And lastly, it'll be different based on color. So while these are neutral, this background is not a neutral tone I normally wear, but I feel like it's very fall and it's going to be really cute styled. So the last set and the last two items I'm going to be showing you, I actually might have jumped the gun on that corduroy skirt because I think this is my favorite. They can all be my favorite because I like them all, but this is the most out there piece. I don't own anything like these items. I'm so excited. Drum roll, please. Brrr. Can't do drum roll. Brrr. Okay, that sounded like Cardi B. That was weird. But I got this 100% silk almost like pajama. They look like pajamas, but it's not pajamas. The top is a button up that has kind of just navy buttons and then a collar. It is a little bit long and oversized on me. So this could almost be like a drapey blazer and being the coat over top of something, or it can be the shirt itself as I have been wearing it tucking into the matching pants. Like I said, it is 100% silk, which is crazy. So it has a super lightweight, soft, texture and it's going to be great again for layering and being a total showpiece. So then I also got the matching pants within this set. They are a straight leg fit. I currently have them cuffed because they're a bit long on me. So I'm between if I should get them hemmed properly or they're currently done up by double sided tape. So I'm not sure how to fix these because I I just, I don't know. I don't want to ruin this. I don't want to ruin this set at all because I just like it so much. Two downsides to these pants is that they don't have any pockets, but I totally understand that because the pockets would probably get pulled down if I put anything in it because of how lightweight the item is. And second minuscule complaint is that the buttons are so far apart that this kind of tends to open, especially if I've just eaten and I'm a little bit bloated. Um, my little tummy sometimes shows through, but again, I probably could fix that with either double-sided tape, adding a button, whatever it may be. But yeah, I think that this is such a gorgeous set and I have been obsessed with it since I got it. The brand is called Residence. So that's what the tag looks like. And there you have it. Large, 100% silk. I, I just love, I, I really, yeah. I'm so in love, I can't wait. So there are all my recent thrift finds. If you've been thrifting recently, definitely leave below a comment of what your favorite item is that you found, or let me know what favorite item of mine that I found and any styling advice. I'm so excited to wear all these items, style them, look so good, feel so good for fall. I love a good thrift haul, so let me know what you think. Comment down below. Make sure to subscribe if you enjoyed and check out some of my other videos. Thank you so much for watching and I hope you have a great rest of your day. Bye.